Hi there, welcome to Boy Meets Quilt. I'm Andrew Vay Hansen. I'm continuing another video with my uh, virtual trunk show series. And the next uh, quilt that I'm gonna show is not one that I have in my possession anymore. It was actually commissioned by my older brother and his wife for their bed. And so they have it now. <laughs> I completed this in January of 2021. And I call this quilt Enter the Dreaming to kind of play on the whole idea of them sleeping underneath the quilt. And uh, basically when we were talking about the kind of quilt they wanted on their bed, they had been interested in the quilt I just showed in my previous trunk show, virtual trunk show video, um, my spectrogasmic therapy. They really liked the negative space filled in with free motion quilting. So that was the direction they wanted to go in. And we worked through some different improv ideas. And so I ended up with these, what you see here, which are more flames, uh, flame-like objects. Uh, and so uh, I decided to do five different flames and they're each a different color. And uh, <clears throat> My sister-in-law had sent me a pillow sham with the colors that she was interested in complementing. And so I specifically chose colors that were in that color range. And they definitely asked for the blue. The main part of the quilt needed to be that color of blue. So then otherwise it was kind of up to me what to do. So <laughs> um, I went ahead and did, you can see I did some improv piecing inside each of the flames with scraps um, that I already had in my stash. And uh, I just thought it would be a fun visual element to the quilt. And I wanted to get some piecing in there even though they wanted most of the quilt to be free motion quilting. And so I just have little, uh, those little improv pieced bits inside each of the flames that coordinate with the colors. And then each of those flames has a different uh, free motion motif. Um, one is more feather-like, one is more flame-like, etc. And we'll do some close-ups of that. And then, uh, and then out of each of the flames, I just improv pieced several, just as tons of free motion quilting motifs. I created four different flowers and then I did some ribbons and I did some filler swirls and that sort of thing. And again, we'll, we'll see close-ups of this in more detail. Um, but each of those, each of all of the main part of the free motion quilting are basically the same motifs in different colors of thread. Um, and so the idea when I was starting to really get the free motion quilting going, um, that's how the title started to come to me, was that it kind of felt like you're laying this quilt down on, on top of you as you go to bed, and as you fall asleep, these beautiful images of flowers and, and swirls and feather fans and all these things kind of drift up into your head as you hopefully enter into a restful slumber with sweet dreams. Um, hence the title, Enter the Dreaming. And so let's take a closer look at the details of the quilt. Okay, so here are some close-ups of the quilting details of this quilt. And since this is such a big quilt, this might take a little while. <laughs> but you can see uh, the different free motion techniques I used. Um, a lot of flowers, a lot of feathers, some ribbons, and then a lot of swirls just to fill in between. So I basically did the main motif separately. The feathers and the flowers were all separate where I cut the thread after doing each one. And then uh, I did some ribbons to kind of connect through and then I filled it all in with swirls. Also, if you look closely at these flames, you'll see each flame has a different uh, motif which I mentioned before so this green one has the feathers the first orange one had the flame like um, and of course you know some thread colors showed up better on the blue than others but that's okay I think it gives a nice texture throughout the entire quilt 
And so that's Enter the Dreaming. Again, this was a quilt that was commissioned by my older brother, Jeff, and his wife, uh, Jamie. And it was for their king-sized quilt, a bed. So you can see it's a very large quilt. And I just wanted to point out that I did all of the piecing and quilting and everything on my domestic sewing machine, my Janome DC 2012. <laughs> so I just want to put it out. It would have been much easier to do it on a long arm quilting machine. I, I make no joke about that, but I don't have access to one of those. I don't own one. So I have to do all of my quilting on my little, my little domestic machine that has about six inches of throat space. And it's a king size quilt. And it really wasn't that horrible. I thought it was going to be tough, but it wasn't all that different from a full-size quilt or even a smaller uh, mini quilt. You just, you know, scrunch the fabric. So I just want to put it out there that it's possible to do all of this stuff on your home machine, your domestic home machine. You don't need to have a $20,000 machine to do these things um, if you're interested in doing them. I know a lot of people aren't interested, so it's no worries. No worries if you just prefer sending your quilts out to a long arm. It's great to support that business. <laughs> I fully support that. Um, but if you're interested in doing it yourself, don't let fear be the reason why you don't try free motion quilting on your own machine. You just need to figure out the presser foot and all that stuff that you need to make it work for your machine. Some machines, you can't pull, put the feed dogs down, so you need to cover those feed dogs with a darning plate or you can even cover them, you know, you can make your own like bit of plastic and just cover them and take them down. People do that. There are ways around it with all of your machines. Um, so I highly encourage you, if you're interested in learning a free motion quilt, go for it. Don't let logistics like, oh, my machine's not big enough or, oh, I don't have the right equipment to hold you back. It's possible for you to do it. And with that, that uh, is yet another entry into my virtual trunk show, and I will see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching.